Welcome back to Construct 3 everyone. In this video we're going to take a look at how we can use some kind of shooting function um, whether it be our main character or maybe we're being shot out by another character. I'm going to take a look at how we can do that. What I've done here is I've uh, created a sprite here and I've called this character Laser Eyes. This character is going to shoot laser from her eyes. So I've created that character. And then what I've done up here is created a sprite here that uh, will be the actual laser eyes. So really simple sprite here. And I've cropped it at the end. And the image point, um, I can put the image point right in the center like so. And we'll just close that there. So over here on the right, I can see I've got my character here under object types. I've got laser eyes and I've got laser here. Now, one thing about the actual lasers that I'm shooting, if we just click on that and then we go to behaviors, what I had to do with this was a couple things. Um, if I just remove this for now so I can show you this here. So if we go to add behavior for this, there actually is a bullet behavior. So we're going to click on this here. We want this laser to have bullet like movements. So we're going to click on that and we're going to add another behavior here. It's called destroy outside layout and basically what that does is if the laser eyes just continue through and hit uh, nothing, it's going to keep going. And actually, it actually keeps going in the game. So even though it goes off the layout, um, the actual bullet still exists or the laser still exists. So what this function does here is it destroys the laser eyes once it goes outside the layout. It actually takes up CPU um, efforts and memory as well. So we just want to destroy that laser um, once it leaves the layout. So we've got that there. So we've got here this here. So let's click on add. So the laser has bullet behaviors and it will be destroyed outside the layout. So there we've got that. Now, how do we actually get the character to shoot those laser eyes. We're going to go to the event sheet and we're going to go add an event. We're going to go to system next. And when you go down, you're going to see every so many seconds. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, we're going to have the lasers come out every three seconds out of her eyes. Now you can adjust that because we do want our character to be able to battle with this character, maybe jump over the lasers or something so we don't want to have it too often but you can play with that timing to see what timing is best for your situation so we want every three seconds those laser eyes to come out so we're gonna go add action from character called laser eyes we're gonna go next and we are gonna go down to spawn another object so laser eyes is gonna spawn lasers so we're gonna go next and we're going to pick that object. There's the laser eyes there. We're going to click OK. And it's from layer one. And it's from image point zero. And let's just go talk about that for a second here. So I'm going to click done. So when we go back to the character and double click here and you look, you can actually see this button here is the actual image points. So in other words, where we want in this case, the laser eyes to stem from. We want them to stem from her eyes. So um, we don't want it down by your feet. We want it somewhere up here. Now you might find if you put it right by the eyes here, um, it still may look like it's starting from in behind. So actually, let me do that. I'm going to pretend I want it right from her eyes. So I click right on there. So that's where the image point is so if I close this here and then I save the game 
and then let's preview see what it looks like so if we just watch this character here you can see that it almost looks like the lasers actually are starting from almost from the back of her head so just the way that we made those lasers we're gonna have to go in and adjust that so let's go in to the sprite here and I'm gonna click on image points here and let's try to move it say out here and let's just see if that looks better so we're gonna save that and let's preview this and see what that looks like so there that looks better now looks like it actually is coming from her eyes so there so that's how you can create some kind of shooting effect using the bullet behavior remember that we are destroying the bullets once they leave the layout so we're not burning up our CPU and our memory so I suggest you do that for your game too like I said if you want to have your main character shooting you can do that as well I will let you investigate some other issues you're going to have to deal with when shooting characters you have to decide what's going to happen if there is um, contact with bullets and so on if you're going to use explosions if it's going to impact health or score whatever it is I will let you decide that so that's how you can use bullet behavior in Constructor 3 that's it for this video thanks for watching we'll see you next time